friends, thanks for joining me here today on my new video. I'm going to be sharing some um, information about emotional freedom technique, what it is, how we do it and some great new groups that I'm going to be offering in my community and also online very soon. So keep watching if you want to find out a little bit more and welcome, it's great to see you. I hope you are feeling really well yourself today. So the first thing I wanted to share is something that's um, really exciting but also quite funny because I've mucked it up a little bit, which is I um, am in conjunction with or at the premises of uh, these wonderful um, team of people who uh, run um, Bow Health and Wellbeing in the local um, community where I live. Um, we've been having a chat about doing some some courses or groups or things that will be able to support people in um, with what I, what I now do is, is with emotional freedom technique and I'll go on to talk about that a little bit more later but I got so excited spoke to Lauren from Bow Health yesterday and and we were saying right it's about time we get going let's do something we want to do a, a group for children and a group for adults and see how it goes see what resonates with everybody and and see what people want I got so excited we decided on a date that we were going to um, launch and start these groups which is November and looked at my calendar and in all of my excitement thought that it was we were going to do Tuesday evenings and um, looked at the calendar and was like right Tuesday the 1st of November there is no Tuesday the 1st of November it's Tuesday the 6th of November <laughs> so I did my little adverts and worked hard putting them out and, and all of that thinking let's get going, let's advertise, get people interested, be able to answer questions <laughs> and it's got the wrong date on it so if anybody comes across um, this, this uh, these adverts locally with Future Positive and EFT for kids and adults um, it's got the wrong date on so I will be amending it but if you if you see anything of the old one just uh, reach out and contact me if you if you need to know the the other date so that's quite a funny thing um, and so yeah these groups are, are starting on the 6th of November um, and there will be a emotional freedom technique for children and for and then a, a one later in the evening for adults and I thought really that what I needed to do was to start to share a little bit more about what emotional freedom technique is because um, I came to it from through my own personal development journey and from 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 being in quite a, a, a low place um, and we, we quite often talk about um, you know working on ourselves and, and I know that that I've I possibly said that in my last video actually about working on myself and all of that and and I thought well actually people may not know what that means so I, I want to share I want to share with with you you know what it is what what EFT is how it's helped me and I might not get it all done here right now but I can sort of give you a little bit of an introduction and um, you can always come back to me anytime through message or um, you know through the links from the video through uh, there's there's lots of ways to, to contact and connect with me and I really would love for you to for you to if you want to find out more or, or anything just just reach out contact me so EFT emotional freedom technique also known as tapping so I came to this through um, actually doing a, um, a, a course with um, Gabrielle Bernstein Gabby Bernstein who's a, um, a spiritual teacher and leader in her field she's absolutely fantastic and and through my own personal development and um spiritual journey i have been drawn to various things and teachings of people but gabby was the one where i found this um personal help technique and um she, she had a, a guest speaker and for the life of me at the moment i can't remember her name but um wonderful wonderful lady and um she did did this workshop about EFT and it really resonated with me I and and I I sort of started practicing it for myself um and it's I've seen so many amazing results 
in my own life that I really th thought, right, I, I, I want to help people. I want to help people like me who, you know, um, perhaps sometimes don't feel worthy, um, haven't got a very positive self-image, maybe have had bouts of depression. Um, I see more and more now um, as we, we sort of awaken to the, the fact that our mental health is so important, people are starting to say, you know, it's okay not to be okay. And that's the, the this thing with, you know, anxiety and depression and people feeling low. And quite often what happens when you are in a low place like that in yourself, um, where you, you sort of feel like the victim, that what, what the world is doing to you, what, you know, these experiences, and it all feels very heavy and very weighty until you get to a place where it's so dark and you really have no idea how to help yourself and how to get out. So, um, I know, I know, I know this. I don't suffer from anxiety, but I've definitely been in the 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 realms of depressive states before before in, in my past, and I have come out of it. So please know that if you if you're seeing this and you and any any of that, if you're in that low place, or or if you are having physical symptoms of. Um, feeling rubbish about yourself about life about you know b being the victim and god really do i still have to keep going through this shit is you know that there is hope and you can come out of it and you know that deep down um and if you're still watching you definitely know that deep down because because you're ready to start making a change and and helping yourself to lift and move forward and come out of it so Otherwise known as tapping, um, EFT was developed by a man called Gary Craig, who um, worked with a, oh gosh, a mentor and teacher who was who was um, it was to, to do with psychology and and what have you. So without going into too much detail about the, the psychology of, of, of it all, I just wanted to generally show you the, the tapping points that we work with so that you can, I've got some sort of understanding that um, if, you, if, you, if you work with me or anybody else, um, what, what you're working with and, and, and what it does. And really it's a case of you trying it, try, trying it for yourself and see and to see if it has an effect because you know if, you, if you're feeling rubbish um and and you need to feel better with, with whatever challenge and things that are coming up for you you know that eft pretty much works for everything everything and and even even if you know if, if you if you're feeling okay but you're just a little bit mm, it, eft can lift you and lift your energy and your vibration so that you can um, just fu just function better. It, it it clears out the crap. It gets rid of um it, you know it gets rid of anything that you might be holding on to, pushing down, um you know manifesting in your body. Um so and 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 lifts you, and and helps to clear away, the the negative emotion and trauma, um that you might be experiencing at that time. So the chop the 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 chopping points the tapping points, are. Um, all on the upper upper half of the body and there are a couple of other techniques that are linked to um, with within the EFT um, spectrum um, but I'm not going to talk about those today so the the, um, the general tapping points that you would use in a, in a session are on the upper half of the body you do that do it for yourself Nobody should touch you during uh, um, any session with, you know, it, it, there are videos online, there are, there are resources that you can find, there are, the, the tapping solution is fantastic. Um, Gary Craig himself still has a, a, a website that, it, that is, is full of information of how, of how, to, do, how, how to do this um, method and technique. So, um, you know, the, there, are, there are things out there if this resonates with you um, and they will will all sort of they say the same thing about about how we do this. So we start here, which is the chopping point side of the hand. So um, obviously you know you do a karate chop, and you 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 would tap here to start with. And we we say um, you know we we talk through and 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 say things um, to acknowledge the um, emotion, feeling, physical um, manifestation of of what's happening to you. We, we we would say um, 
what's coming up for us whilst whilst tapping here we then move our way around in, in a cycle now different people have different things but generally um, it's easier to remember if you do it in in a, in a cycle um, so that you sort of work around and work around in a circle. So we start here, then we would move to the eye, and we would, um, and it's usually the part where the eyebrow joins the, um, the, the eyebrow that joins the nose here. So we, we would tap here. Then we go to the side of the eye, or the, you know, the other end of the eyebrow, and then we go under the eye. We go under the nose, or quite often I call it the moustache, uh, chin then we come to the collarbone so you can do and and you can you can tap um, with both hands where 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 you can if, if you want to there's no hard and fast rules and um, and all of it works really really well so we go we go to the collarbone here then we go under the arm which is for ladies it's where your bra would be and just just under that that sort of flat bit the side of your ribs so un under the arm and then the top of the head so that's the points that's where you work and obviously you know if, you, if you're with a practitioner or somebody a coach who's going to guide you through um and through a session um we would um that that we would work work around those points while um you know feeling the emotion that's coming up or the physical pain or, or whatever it is that you're experiencing at that time and we um acknowledge that feeling and and actually you know comfort ourselves in knowing that you know we, we might be feeling this but we're but we are okay and then we go to we we would begin by rating it um as to how um from zero to ten as to how um how much we're feeling that whatever it is that's coming up and then after a, a few rounds we we would then focus back in on our body and um, see if that's had an effect, see if the number on that level, that scale has come down. And if not, we would go again. And once, once we get to a position where we're feeling comfortable, that, you know, that, that we, the body has started to release some of that, um, the, the, you know, the negative energy or the emotion or the trauma, whatever it is that's coming up, we then reprogram the um, our supercomputer brain who who before has latched on to the the history of of things that have, have come up and in, in, in cycles and and you know in 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 a way to protect you from it happening again or, or to you know the emotion comes up to to show you something's not right or you know to feel fear um and it's you know directly related to the flight fight and freeze response um which I'll go into more at another time, but um, yeah. So, so once we've done that and we've acknowledged the whatever it is that's coming up, and we're feeling calmer and and um, more at ease with what's with, with what we're we're ch being challenged with at that time, we then start to reprogram and put in new thoughts, new considerations, new energetic responses. So that the brain can, um, you know, the amygdala that produces these hormones that make us go into the fight, flight, and freeze response. The we can we can say it's all right, chill. You don't need to worry. We can we can file you back in the archives. It doesn't need to be in our direct history to be pulled up every time something, you know, that similar comes up for us, and creates another layer and another layer and another layer. Because when we get to that point, it just feels so heavy. We're, we're weighed down it manifests as physical illness even if it's it's actually a, a you know an emotional trauma that has happened quite often manifests as physical illness you know it, or or you know you might have a, a get a bad neck or a headache or bad knees and uh, you know it, it's all it's all directly linked to things that we've been through that that is an emotional trauma that that is creating a block in our energetic flow and everything is energy we're all you know everything vibrates at an energetic level so it's really important that we you know feel as free as as we can and we release this stuff and we say to the brain you don't need to protect me i'm not in any danger i don't need to be afraid i can respond to this in a new way so that's what we do in the second round of, of tapping when we when we have acknowledged everything we come back to um reprogram 
and get back in a flow. The reason why I wanted to offer a group for people in my in my community and then later on we'll be doing things online in groups and, and, and all of that is because quite often we're, we're going through similar sort of experiences and um, you know pe people have I think I shared a picture the other day actually with, a two, with two dogs and there was um, you know a big dog and a small dog who'd, who'd gone through a, um, a, a dirty puddle and it was saying that we you know it was big and, and the, the little dog had the mud had come right up to his chest and the and the big dog it just only just covered his paws and and it was really good analogy for the fact that we you know we, we all go through really similar stuff it just depends on who you are how you experience it so the big dog obviously you know the, the muddy puddle for him was was wasn't really very deep and, and you know so that wasn't a lot he didn't get very dirty whereas the little dog was absolutely covered so you know we we quite often um experience things we experience it in our own way but they're very similar experiences and they do bring up very similar emotions so to do things in a group is um we, we do in tapping we do what we call borrowing benefits so um you know somebody might bring up something that's a concern for them and quite often it will really resonate with other people that are in that session at that particular time and if it doesn't completely resonate then we um you can adapt it for yourself because you don't actually have to say things out loud you can say it in your mind you can we can you, we can adapt it so that it suits for what for your purpose and what you need to feel free of or to heal or to you know to, to get back in balance with so um yeah that's a bit that's a bit more about why we want to um have these groups um besides the fact you know it's lovely to come together in a group it changes you know if you can change the energy in a group then you go out and the ripples outwards to the rest of your family friends um you know it's really quite powerful and and that's what we're trying to do you know we're, we're trying to um change the world by working working with ourselves first and and make it a, a, a nicer happier um more joyful place to to be and to live and and we we start that from working within and um releasing blocks that are essentially holding us back from from having that that real joyful happy life you know we need to feel that within for it to radiate out and we create the life that we want so that's that section um sorted if this resonates with you and you feel like you might get some benefit from it um, follow follow my videos as I as I post them. Contact me if um, I I do um, we'll be doing coaching one on one coaching ses sessions as well as the community groups, and I would also like to do some some online things um, because you know the technology that we have now is so amazing that we can do we can do group sessions online which is which is amazing and because it's energy work and because you do it for yourself. I can talk and guide you through while we're online. We don't even need to be in the same room. I've got a couple of clients that I'm working with at the moment and, and they're distance clients. So, um, and it's really taking off. People are seeing fantastic results from it. And I am here to support you. And if, if there's, you know, and your your kids, if you feel like it's something that, you know, your, your children, might need support and help with I would love to do that too so I'm, I'm offering myself I'm uh, quite happy to to you know to, to chat with you or meet with you if you're feeling like this this is something that could be helpful for you then please reach out to me um, you know, like it like and and um, you know support my pages when you when you see them so that we can get this out and, and help as many people as possible um, uh, and I think that's probably it for now. I, I, otherwise, it's going to be a big, meaty, long um, video, and I'm probably going to lose a lot of people. So uh, <laughs> I won't bore you and chew your ears off anymore. I hope that's been helpful. Um, you, you, that there are links and videos of people who already share emotional freedom technique online. Um, the tapping solution are amazing, and they offer they offer courses and 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 things like that. Um, I will be doing that too. So if you resonate with me in particular and would like to work with me, then please contact me. I would, would absolutely love for you to get in touch. And I wish you all the best and hope you have a lovely day. And 
if you are going through some challenges and struggles at the moment, just please know that it's you, you can come out. You can come out of this. You've got this and you can create and shift shift these these um, beliefs and thought patterns and things that you're going through to create a really great life for yourself and that's what my brand my future positive life is all about so that you know you you can do this you can create the life that you want by working on yourself doing the work for yourself and you know tackling tackling these um emotions and and you know challenges that come up for you in a really positive way so i'm sending you lots of love today thank you for watching i hope i haven't waffled on too much for you but i hope that maybe you've picked up some little gems that that can help you in your journey too so lots of love Mwah. have a great day